I want to begin by saying something you've probably heard a hundred times before, but I hope today it lands differently. There are moments in life when you want to quit. Moments when it feels like the mountain is too high to climb, the road too long to walk, and the weight too heavy to carry. You've been there, haven't you? Maybe you're there right now. The frustration, the fatigue, the uncertainty, the temptation to throw in the towel and walk away. I'm here to tell you, I've been there too. And I'm here to tell you why you should not quit. We live in a world that's quick to tell us that failure is to be avoided at all costs. We are surrounded by narratives that glorify instant success and effortless achievement. But here's the truth, real growth, real transformation, real success comes not from quitting when things get tough, but from pushing forward even when you feel like you can't go any further. There's something extraordinary that happens when you make the choice to keep going, even when your mind and body scream at you to stop. It's in those moments that we discover who we truly are. Let me remind you of something we often forget, it's okay to feel overwhelmed, it's okay to feel like giving up, but don't confuse those moments with your permanent reality. The way you feel in that moment is not a reflection of your potential, it's just a snapshot of where you are, but it doesn't define where you're going. Imagine you're running a marathon. At mile 15, you hit a wall. Your legs feel like cement, your body is screaming at you to stop, and every part of your mind is telling you that you've given it your all and it's just not enough. But here's the thing, most people quit at that wall. They stop at mile 15 because they can't see mile 16. They stop before they've even seen the finish line. But what if you kept going? What if, instead of stopping, you pushed just a little further? What if, just when you thought you had nothing left, your body found a second wind and you crossed the finish line? You see, the true breakthrough happens just beyond that wall. Most people quit too soon because they think the wall is their limit. But in reality, the wall is simply a point of resistance, not a boundary. The distance between where you are and where you want to be is not as far as it seems. And often, that breakthrough is closer than you think. Think about the people you admire, the ones who've achieved great things in their lives. What did they do differently? Were they born with a special gift that you weren't? Did they somehow have an easier path? No. What they did was persist. They kept going when they wanted to quit. They kept going when others laughed at them, doubted them, or told them they were crazy. They kept going when the road got tough, because they knew that success isn't about how fast you go, but how long you're willing to endure. There's another truth we must accept. Failure is not the opposite of success, it's part of success. Think about the most successful people in history. Thomas Edison, the man who invented the light bulb, failed over a thousand times before he succeeded. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Walt Disney was fired from a newspaper because he lacked imagination. These are the same people we now look to as giants in their fields, not because they avoided failure, but because they refused to quit after they encountered it. Failure, rejection, and disappointment are not signs that you should quit, they are stepping stones to the success you desire. It's like a sculptor chipping away at a block of marble. With every strike of the hammer, the marble falls away, and the vision becomes clearer. But it's not easy. It takes time, persistence, and trust in the process. Most people can't handle the chipping away, they want to see results immediately. But the work is in the grind. The true character is revealed in the struggle. And it's not just about professional success. It's about personal growth too. Every time you face difficulty and push through, you are becoming stronger, wiser, more capable. You're learning lessons that can't be taught in any classroom, but only through experience. And those lessons will serve you not just in that one challenge, but in every challenge that comes after. The reason you feel like quitting is because your comfort zone is being stretched. And let me tell you this, there's no growth inside your comfort zone. You are being called to step into something greater, something that requires you to be more than what you were yesterday. So when the pressure builds, when the self-doubt creeps in, don't shrink back. Step forward. The discomfort you feel is a sign that you're growing. Embrace it. There is an incredible power that comes from stepping into the unknown. Every moment of discomfort is an opportunity for you to show up for yourself. It's easy to be motivated when everything is going well. The real test of your character comes when the road gets tough. Will you rise? Will you dig deep and keep going? Will you be the person who looks back one day and says, I'm glad I didn't quit when I felt like it? Remember, the greatest rewards in life are not for those who give up, but for those who persevere. The strongest trees grow in the harshest conditions. Your challenges are not obstacles, they are the soil that will nourish your growth if you choose to keep pushing forward. Sometimes the road is long and the results are slow to show. But consistency, showing up day after day, even when you don't feel like it, is the key. 
progress doesn't always look like a leap forward, often, it's a series of small, steady steps that eventually add up to something monumental. There will be days when you don't feel like it. There will be days when you want to lay down and just forget everything. But don't stop. Because those small, consistent efforts will compound, and one day, you'll look back and realize that every time you showed up, you moved closer to your goal. The person you are today is not the person you were last year because of those little moments when you refused to quit. At the end of the day, when you feel like quitting, the battle is not really with the outside world. It's within you. It's the battle between your doubts and your determination, your fears and your courage, your present self and the person you're destined to become. In those moments when you want to quit, ask yourself this, who do I want to be? The answer is clear. You want to be someone who didn't give up. You want to be someone who learned, who grew, who conquered their fears, and who showed up for their own potential, no matter how difficult it got. You are stronger than you think. You have more inside of you than you give yourself credit for. And when you decide to push through, when you decide to keep going, you'll find out just how much strength you truly have. So, when you want to quit, remember this, you are closer than you think. The breakthrough is just on the other side of the struggle. The reward is waiting for you, and it's worth every step you take. It's okay to feel tired, it's okay to feel discouraged, but never forget, the world needs you to keep going. Your dreams, your goals, your impact, they all matter. And you matter. So take a deep breath, square your shoulders, and keep moving forward. The best version of yourself is waiting on the other side of your persistence. Don't quit.